uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we have i mean in the last couple of videos we have covered a lot of things uh, which are like a uh, primary candidate for the interview questions like talking about array prototypes object object copy object compare shell copy deep copy uh, function prototype class based inheritance function based inheritance and all okay coming uh, extending those videos to the next level now we are talking about uh, tricky questions in javascript and first we will talk about negation okay uh, what is the double negation and how it works okay you might have seen this in the code like true what it will give it will give us true because it's negation and then again negation so if you just try to do the negation of uh, zero twice so this is the difference what we are doing here is negation of a number and then again negation will become true and negation of zero will become true and then again it will become false so the negation of op operator actually is doing nothing but it's doing a double negation true become false and false become again uh, true this also we just use to convert any primitive to a boolean so sometimes you might have not like this sometimes you might have seen okay x if x is a number then it will be converted to the boolean right something like this now uh, null versus uh, undefined now i hope you know javascript has a two distinct values for nothing null and undefined undefined means a variable has been declared but value has not been assigned right and there are many ways in which uh, you can get undefined uh, you are declaring a value without assigning to it so there is a null and undefined has a different theory around it let's take a look on to this when you can get when you can get the undefined the value of a global variable is undefined function parameter that has not been passed that will be undefined you are not returning value from the function so that return type will be undefined null Null means empty or non-existent value which is used by programmers to indicate no value. And we already know what is the difference between null and undefined. Null is not an object. It is a primitive value but when you do a type of null it always becomes an object. Right? You, you should not assume that null is not an object. It's defined as a, an object in JavaScript. Okay, so if you just try to do this, then you will get the correct understanding what is null and what is undefined. Okay, I mean we we can also understand the practical differences of a null and undefined, how it is working. Now we'll talk about object copy tricky questions. We already know how object dot assign works, how we are doing a shallow copy. When you do the shallow copy, you don't actually you can still change the nested reference. You are creating a copy object and you can actually change the property name. It will not reflect in the user object but when you are changing copy.location.ct and putting it to some other value, it will, uh, it will be impacted in both the references either in the copy and the user object. It's not like you have created isolated copy and it will not change the existing object. Why? Because the reason for this change is original object become when we use object dot assign or a spread operator it actually doing a shallow copy it actually doing copy of the root properties but whenever there is a reference it is just assigning the reference directly so you have to write uh, your custom code deep copy and iterate each and every properties and check if there is a primitive directly assign it if this is an object or array then recursively again call that method Okay, now let's talk about type of. Type of is very important and we use type of to check if it is an object, if it is a number, boolean, string, symbol. But type of is not enough whenever you need to check. So you are checking, okay, type of this is an object. Null is also an object. So how will you check that this value is actually true? So like this and I'm just doing a type of x and I'm, I'm thinking that x1 is not null and I started using this if x then it will become a problem right because x1 can be uh, null type of null will still give an object so what how we have to how we should treat this is uh, we should check for the null conditions also like this 
currently bar is null so type of bar is an object as long as one is aware that this can be a null then you should put a proper checks around it so if i just try to do the same thing with this bar not equal to null so it will become false because bar is null because what we do is after checking if it is an object we try to access the properties and if you try to access the properties which is null then you will get into a problem right so the above solution is returning false that is true that here we are checking null so for every time whenever you are checking a type of is an object and trying to access the property always check that uh, that that variable should not be null because null is also an object again for the array because array is an object and you can't just do this uh, array is not null and type of array is an object this is still an object and again you start accessing the index or trying to call the array prototype methods which are not there in the simple object like push pop short and all this need to be an array and this check is required to check for an object to be an array or you can use array dot is array and then you can check array dot array dot is array if that is returning true then you can check the length if it is greater than 0 to access particular property right so to string dot call bar bar if is an array then it will return this or you can use array dot is array method for that for an object uh, there is another al alternative to do that null check will always be there bar dot constructor should be an object okay and for array i mean this is a jquery one but we can skip that so array dot is array is enough first you need to check that array should not be null then array dot is array should be a return array should return true and then array dot length if you want to access the property so these are actually some pitfalls of type of use which you should be aware while writing the code okay uh, thanks everyone